What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Underground Pain King, the People's Champ, back with another video. And today, man, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how to mix paint. And uh, more so about how I mix paint. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so having a paint shaker is good to have. It'll help you with uh, your mixing and if you had your paint sitting on the shelf for a long time and uh, you need it, you can put it on the paint shaker, put it on for you know a few minutes, you know probably about five minutes if necessary, and uh, take it off the shaker. Take a mixing stick like normal, mix everything up real good. That way you know you get uh, everything that's settled to the bottom mixed up real good and. Uh, get ready to uh, reduce it so you can put it in the gun and you're ready to go. Before getting started with the mix all your paint and everything, just make sure you got some good gloves to cover your hands, man. You don't want to get the paint and, and reducers and primers and sealer and all that stuff. You don't want to get that all over your hand and everything, you know, so just make sure you're protecting yourself. Also, when you're wearing these, you want to make sure that you're keeping uh, any type of sweat or contaminants from your own body getting into the paint materials on the panels and stuff like that as well. So, you know, just be mindful of the things that uh, is going on when you're dealing with getting ready to do paint work. Everything that you do, man, you need to plan it out and have it planned out well so you can come out with the best, cleanest job that you possibly can. All right, what we have here is three different cups that I use. We have a pint cup, a quart cup, and a five quart cup. And as you can see, it has the different measuring on the side of the cups. And I use all of these depending on what type of job that I'm doing. So let's talk a little bit about those different jobs that I might be doing. All right, so the pint cup here I use it if I'm doing like small blends that don't require me to mix up a lot of paint. Then cork cups, I use those if you're doing like larger panel blend jobs or you know painting panels to mix up. Then I use the five quart if I'm doing like an overall paint job. Because you want to be able to save your time, save your money. So when it comes to, you know, these different three cups, you can use them all either together or separate to save you time and save you money. Because you don't want to be mixing up a lot of material if you don't have to, which this is why, you know, the smaller cup will come into play. Quart cup, if you gotta mix up a large amount, then you can mix up, you know, a lot of material. That way you can keep going instead of trying to use the quart cup by itself and you're doing an overall paint job and you're steady trying to mix up, you know, the quart cup. When you can mix up a large amount and then you can just keep filling your paint down you know, and keep going instead of slowing yourself down. Because in between those paint jobs or those uh, dry times, you know, you don't want to keep on running out of material and not and losing that wet edge. And uh, it's a lot of information already on wet edges and, you know, catching wet edge. But uh, 
we'll do another video on that. So, you know, small jobs, a little bit bigger of a job than a big job. Let's talk paints. As you can see, I've got three different uh, paint cans, uh, different material. You got Deltron, which is PPG. Shopline, which is like a mid-grade, lower brand of the PPG line. And you got Nacy. So with the Deltron, it's mixed one to one. Shop line also mixed one to one, but this nascent here is mixed uh, two to one. So it'll be two parts paint, one part reducer, one part paint, one part reducer. Again, one part paint, one part reducer. That's your mix ratios. Now, something that I would like to show, if you can see it, show it a little bit closer. You can see the mix ratio down there, and uh, it gives you the information on how to mix it and what to mix it with. And if you see, I got RTS on both these cans here. And you don't see it on this one because uh, it's not mixed. So RTS stands for ready to spray. So what that means is, and which helps me out is, when I go to grab that off the shelf, I already know that it's ready to spray. Meaning it's been mixed already with paint and reducer. So what I need to do is take it off the shelf, it's already ready to spray. I throw it on the shaker, shake it up real good, take it off the shaker. I grab a mixing stick, stir it up good, filter it, and I should be ready to go. So both these cans here are ready to spray. This can is not ready to spray. So I need to put it on the shaker, mix it real good. Then after I get it off the shaker, stir it up with a mixing stick. Then I go into mixing the right ratio and uh, getting it ready to be filtered through the paint gun. So, let's show you that. All right, I got my paint, mixing cup, and I got some reducer here that I'm gonna mix uh, my paint. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Now, again, if I'm going one to one, Let's say I go two parts, I mix up to the two. Then after I mix up to the two, I'm gonna take it up to the four and that will give me my one to one mix ratio. Now let's say this paint was two to one. I would take two parts paint. So I'll go one, then two. Then I will take the reducer, take it up to the three and that will give me the one part that I need for the reducer. So that's three parts total. So that gives me the two and one, which makes three. Sometimes you get clears and they are mixed, you know, four to one. So you come up to the four, mix another part with the catalyst, the hardener, and uh, you mix it and it will be five. So that will make five parts. If it's four to one, that makes five. If I wanted to mix it, mix more, then I will go to the four, take it to the eight, then mix two parts of the catalyst, hardener, whichever one you would like to call it, and it takes me to the 10. So it just makes a simple math. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So, open up the paint. I'm going to take this to 
two parts. And hopefully you're seeing this on the camera. So I'm up to the two parts line there. So now you can see I'm at two parts of paint. So now I'm gonna take my reducer and mix it in. Now for my reducer, now that I'm at two parts, And this is gonna be a quick tip for you guys when you got a brand new can of reducer. Open the reducer. Sit that off to the side. When you open it up, you don't wanna take it and pour this way because once you do it, it starts splashing. See how it's splashing all over the place? Now, I just created a mess, and if you look at it, that's your money. This is your money that you're just pouring all over the place. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is take it, have this end at the top. Once you have this end at the top, and let me get something to... Now, I was going to try to clean it up, but let's go ahead and do it. Once you get this at the top, it's going to pour out a lot easier and it pours and you get less splash. I got a lot of splash because I had some around the can so maybe we'll give you a better uh, a better show of that since you know that wasn't the best example but it was a good example of me wasting material but the point is to try to not waste material. If you turn it this way and have the opening at the top and not at the bottom, then you can pour and it'll eliminate a lot of the splashing and you won't lose as much material just like I did in the video. Just a quick tip. All right, so we got the two parts in. Now let's mix uh, the reducer with it. I'm gonna take it up to four parts. And uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to take that line up to the four. in a little bit closer see if you can see it as you can see I took it from the two parts went to the four parts and that's my four part line so I got two parts paint two parts uh, reducer which gives me my four parts. And that's the mix ratio there. And that's how I mix paint for whatever it is that I'm doing. And again, like I explained already, whether it be two to one, three to one, four to one, sometimes you get a mix ratio of, uh, let's say you're doing like a sealer and it takes a, uh, four part sealer might take one part of a catalyst and it takes one part of a reducer. So four, one, and one, that's six parts. So since that's six parts, you know, from here, you would have four parts of the sealer. You go one more part of the catalyst, then you go another part of the reducer, and that gives you six total parts and you're ready to mix it, stir it real good so you can filter it through the gun and you're good to go. So 
So I have my paint gun here, and I'm not gonna actually pour this in my paint gun just because I'm just doing this for the video. I'm not actually getting ready to spray anything. But now that I have my mix mixed up, my paint and my reducer, I'm just gonna mix it up and stir it real good. And once I got it thoroughly mixed, I will pour into my filters and filter. I got two of them here. Filter, you know, the paint into the gun and make sure I'm keeping out any, you know, dust particles, debris, anything that could have been in a cup if I was using a bad cup or a dirty cup or something like that. Try to filter out as much contaminants and particles, you know, as I can. And that's how I mix my paint. All right, now as you can see, I don't have a uh, RTS road on this can. And uh, now that I have the job done, if I was to be spraying something, just using this as an example, now that I'm done with the job and I have leftover uh, materials, I just take my empty pint can. And even if you don't have an empty pint can, let's say you had like a quart can or a gallon, you can pour it right back into any one of those. But I got a pint here. Take a filter. And even though it's been filtered already, I'm going to filter it again and put it in the can. So any unused paint that I didn't use, I'm going to filter it back into the can. And when you do that, you're saving yourself time and money, which we are all about. You might get another job in the future that takes this same color. So now you already have it on the shelf, ready to spray, and it might save you by having to get so much more paint for the next job. Let's say you get another job to where you might not even have to buy paint because you already have it on the shelf and you have enough to finish the job that you're doing which gives you more profit. So now that I have put my paint back into the pint can, can excuse me, I put the top back on, make sure you seal it good, and I don't have a hammer with me, I will take a hammer, and go around the edges and make sure I seal it off. Then I'm going to take my can and I'm going to write R T S. And if you can see that, that just lets me know that it's ready to spray. I can put it back on the shelf and it's ready to go to the next time I need it. All right, kings and queens. So if you're still with me after this uh, overly long video, trying to explain to you how I uh, mix paint, uh, if you're still with me, then uh, I hope that this video helped you in some way, shape, form, or fashion on how to mix paint. And uh, if it's still unclear, check out uh, Far Away. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out his channel. Make sure you go to his channel and uh, subscribe to the channel. He's doing a lot of great work, a lot of great information. So I'm going to leave a link in the description and uh, go check him out. But he does he has a video uh, on how to mix paint and he shows you the different measurements on the cup and uh, how to use those. So this video is uh, 
just how I do it, but you know, a lot of people do everything differently. I've seen people, you know, eyeball it and, and mix up in like mayonnaise jars and cups and stuff with no measuring lines or anything on them. So everybody's different, you know. Just enjoy what you're doing, you know, learning what works for you. And uh, I'm probably going to end it right here, man. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend. And uh, tell that friend to tell another friend. And uh, we out.